Okay guys, I wanted to show one step on this 5th gen Camaro camera plate uh, installation gallery that we don't have pictures of for some reason. Uh, normally our camera plate has studs coming through it and we can bolt into the, the factory strut tower and it's fairly straightforward. The Camaro is very unusual. It's like uh, older Volkswagens. There's no holes in the strut tower itself. This is from a different car. So we had to make our camera plate have a two-piece assembly that sandwiches above and below the strut tower. The engraved plate is obviously the upper camber plate piece, and that goes on top of the tower. If you look at the bottom of this plate, it's got a bunch of weird cutouts. This circular cutout fits inside this strut tower hole of the 5th Gen Camaro. This angled cutout here fits over a bracket welted to the top of the tower, and that's what keys the plate in place um, and on, on the right front corner, and that is for the hood gas strut. So you'll notice this is marked RF, F. And the F is pointing forward to the front of the car and the RF means the right front of the car from your driver's seat. So fit this around that bracket, fit this inside the opening and it will key itself in place. Then this piece with the rounded edge, see how that's got a round edge? That fits in the curved strut tower uh, from underneath. You, you line these up before the strut goes in the car. So this is keyed in place by this corner fits inside that hole, this lines up, and then these bolt together, sandwiching the strut tower itself, and there's one bolt that goes through the upper plate and lines up with the lower plate. So you gotta line that up in the car, sandwich the tower, and that stays in place. Once that's bolted into the car, the spherical bearing holder assembly is already bolted to the strut spring, upper spring perch, and then that bolts in place here and you can see how that aligns with this plate. So with this assembly bolted into the strut tower, your spherical bearing holder and your strut come in from underneath. It lines up and it's gonna take some patience. We use these two laser cut pointer rings, we call our binary washers, and those go through these slots and ultimately bolt into two of the holes here. You can pick which holes you want to do. I would probably pick the back two. Um, and depending on what camber range you work with, it can move between the two holes. And to adjust camber, this stays in the car. And all you have to do is loosen these four nuts and slide the spherical bearing holder inboard or outboard. And that changes your camber. It's that simple. There's no caster adjustment. There's no guesswork. It all aligns with the strut tower perfectly. It only goes together one way. As long as you got the right front and the right front, the left front and the left front, you'll be good to go.